Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. If you want to help our channel grow, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and if you like the video, make sure to like it. We appreciate it. It helps us grow. So if you want to see more pops, you got to pop that button. Thank you. See you hey soon. Hey guys, we have multiple blackheads here and dilated pores of Weiner. These enlarged pores fill with dead skin and oil, sebum, and cause these little plugs here. Those can turn into bigger cysts if we don't get them out. So we have quite a few here we're going to do today. And you can see that oxidization. They kind of turn darker when they hit oxygen. So that's why we see at the top they'll be dark and then there'll kind of be some yellow contents in underneath. And we've got several here we're working on today. So we'll get these out for them. A um, little bit of pressure with some Q-tips. Usually we loosen the pore a little and pop them right out. Hey guys, Greg Lynch, Durham PA here. We have him all ready here, wiped down. Just gonna loosen up with a small needle here. We just kind of put a little bit of pressure into these, kind of move them around a little. Loosen up that dead skin in there from the edges, just like that. This one here. Might be a little pinch there. It might be a little follicular cyst in there. We'll get out for them down here as well. Loosen there a little. And there's one right up here in the back of the neck, a smaller one that we're gonna get for them too. start with the big one here first. So when you have one this size, you can see it's starting to get a little red. It's outgrowing that pore. So we just do a little bit of squeezing underneath and you let me know if it's too much. Right here. And you kind of roll out those contents from the bottom there. You can see that one is dry and kind of falling apart there for him. Good. You can see the hair right there that was down in there. Sometimes this starts as a little ingrown hair. You can see it right on the tip there. That's the lower part. That wasn't a really deep pour, but we'll see. We're gonna do a deeper squeeze and see if we can get a little more contents out of there too. Same thing here. These are fairly shallow, but when they're hard, if you squeeze too hard, it's like pushing a pebble under the skin. It can be a little tender. You can see these are very dry. That's good, and that's just a dilated pore right there. That's what we see. Eventually it can refill, but it takes quite a while, so this will decrease the itchiness for sure. We'll come over here to this one down here. A little bit of deep pressure there. Get that plug to come right out. There it is right there. You can see kind of pasty at the bottom, more moist, and that oxidization on the top. Empty pour, that's totally empty. Went pretty deep on that one. Once we get those contents out, sometimes they'll tighten up a little bit, so they're not as deep there. I'm gonna have you bring your shoulder blades together just a little, there you go, just to kinda, so the skin's not pulled as tight. Is that too much, any pain there? No. Good. You just had a little bit of remnants down in the bottom of that pour. I just wanted to slide those out for you. Perfect, so that was just the bottom of the pore there. And you can relax back down there. Up here, this one might be a little follicular cyst. I think we're gonna have a little bit more contents in this one. We're gonna squeeze out that plug that you can see there. Going very deep. That one almost looks like a little cobra or a little snake coming out of there. Call that one the cobra blackhead. <laughs> If you want to see what was in there, you can see here if you want to, you can see that's quite a bit down in there. A little plug with a lot of dead skin underneath. So that's good. Better out than in for sure. <laughs> so you can see that little dry right there. It literally looks like a little cobra sticking up with a dark head. <laughs> little baby right there. Boom. <laughs> so that is... That's the type of thing that would turn into a bigger cyst at some point. So I don't see a sac in there. Um, it most likely was just a little clogged pore. If there is a sac and it kind of starts up again, sometimes we'll do a punch removal and we go a little deeper. Um, just make sure we squeeze it all out. A little indentation where it was. And that looks okay. I don't see anything under that. 
Do one more little squeeze from this side just to make sure. Very good. Looks good. And he's got a couple small ones we're gonna do here. A little tiny squeeze here. Sorry, a little pressure there. These ones are usually drier. You can see it. Okay, right here. Deep squeeze, get that dry plug out. Perfect. Came in for something else, and now he's gonna be leaving lighter. Yeah. <laughs> That's always a good thing. Yeah. Got that. There's a couple small ones. I deal with so many inflamed cysts, and I always think, gosh, if I could just have gotten this back in the day. <laughs> so I try, I try, yeah, I try to clear these pores. You ever worked on the pine metal stuff? No. Uh -uh. I had one of those. It's terrible. Yeah. Tylenidal. We don't. We send those to general surgery. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're they're. Uh, we I've drained them before, but we don't remove them because there's usually a track down lower, and it's got to be cut out by a general surgeon. Mm. And the ganglion cysts on the wrist go to orthopedics. Those are the two that we don't do actually. Right here, good. Just little tiny ones there. Another one here. See those little, looks like little twins. <laughs> Let's go and see here. Right here. I'm gonna loosen that one. This is just a seborrheic keratosis here. These are kind of barnacles of life, we call them, wart like growths. They can be itchy as well. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Sometimes people are scared they're melanoma because they're darker, but here's a deeper one here we're gonna get for. Them. Getting under that skin. There we go, I'm starting to come out. You really gotta tease these out. It's like a little plug. And the tips aren't working, we'll come get some direct pressure like that. And you can see, sometimes the extractor is the better tool, sometimes the Q-tip. As he just told me, Q stands for quality. <laughs> I like it, quality tips. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right there. That's a nice plug. Pretty deep one there. All right. And I think that's just about it. Cleared these things out. I'm going to do a little deep one on this one. There we go. Sorry if that's too much pressure. So that's you can fine. see you need that direct pressure right around it sometimes to get the bottom of that pore. And we got quite a bit out on there. That's why I always go back and kind of check on the bigger ones. You can see some dry, there's some hairs in there too. The more you get out, the longer it takes for it to come back. Mm. A little bit more there, good. Perfect, that's just the bottom, bottom of that pore. Get all those out. <clears throat> Put a little Band-Aid on that one as well. Recheck on that's good. And that one's shallow. There's nothing left in there. But we'll go here. So you can see that last bit of paste on the bottom of these. Always good to do that. Last push. That's the base. Got it. Yeah, I was gonna I can do a little numbing for that if we need to next time. Okay. Sometimes the deeper winds, just when you get to the bottom, it can really, really be a little tender there, but you did great. Okay. Sometimes the shot hurts worse than that, so yeah. <laughs> we just get those out, but it looks good. Yeah, I think we cleared it. So okay. thanks for popping by guys. That's it. Yeah. We got him clear and we're just gonna do a little bit of freezing for you.